Welcome back. In this video, you will talk about Schadrager syndrome and Riley Day syndrome. Both of these syndromes cause autonomic dysfunction. Basically, it causes disruption of the delicate harmony between the sympathetic and parasympathetic system. Sometimes the sympathetic system is activated where it shouldn't, and other times the parasympathetic is activated elsewhere. So the patient might present with urinary incontinence due to activation of the sympathetic system in the genital tract, and at the same time have bradycardia due to parasympathetic activation in the heart. So, autonomic dysfunction. However, both disorders will present with orthostatic hypotension. And this is the main issue that you have to treat. We treat it with volume expansion. So we give the patient salt tablets or salt, fludrocorticoids, or alpha agonists. And this is more than enough to treat the orthostatic hypotension. To differentiate between them in the exam, Schadrager syndrome is caused by progressive Parkinsonism. So it is expected as a late complication of Parkinson's disease. So we only see it in older patients. Riley Day syndrome is quite the opposite. And it presents at birth because it's an autosomal recessive disease. So to recap, Schadrager syndrome and Riley Day syndrome both present with orthostatic hypotension as the main complaint and they both cause autonomic dysfunction. Schadrager syndrome appears later in life and it is caused by progressive Parkinsonism. Riley Day syndrome appears early in life and it is caused by autosomal recessive disease. And here's a small quiz. And here is the answer. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.